everyone. I'm here to speak because when one of us hurts, we all hurt. They're not all in this together, but we are. So thank you, thank you. And speaking on behalf of Disabled People Against Cuts and many other disability groups who are suffering at the moment, and I use that word properly. This, if I can put it up, is an incontinence pad. Some people have to use them, and that's fine. But now, disabled people are to being told are being forced to wear them. Why? Because in 10 days, the Independent Living Fund, a fund that has given disabled people the right to live in the community like everybody else, is being closed by this government. <laughs> Myself and John couldn't be here without this money, without this support. And who's going to have to take up the, the reins? Our local authorities. Because we know they're so rich at the moment. So what's happening? I bring this pad to tell you that yesterday I hear yet again somebody's local authority will not be meeting the needs met by the ILF closing. In fact, they're cutting the hours. And they've told her to use an incontinence pad instead. Austerity kills choice. We will be here lobbying on the 24th of June. Please join us. Save the ILF. If you're on benefits, you're scrounging scum. And if you're in work, you're not much better than the deserving poor. Disabled people sometimes need assistance in employment. Guess what? They're fucking cutting that too. Access to work it gives disabled people the essential support they need to work, to have the right to work. Interpreters equipment. Deaf people are here today because they're being denied the right to communication. So support us, support us in September when we lobby to say save access to work. Austerity kills opportunity. But you know what? I'm being denied access to, I'm being denied assistance to go to the toilet, assistance to do my job. But if I want assistance to die, the government are, are, are desperate to do it. With the assistance, with assisted suicide bill, think very carefully. Do we need choice at the end of our lives? No, we need choice now. Assist us to live, not to die. What choice is it? to die when you're lying in your own shit? What choice to die is it when welfare and benefit sanctions are causing you to kill yourself? What choice is it when you are found fit to work six months after you've died? Fund the NHS, fund welfare, fund housing, support us, public services, support us to live. Austerity kills, kills, austerity, austerity kills, kills.